Howdy everyone, today we're going to be reading Toy Story, so uh, we should probably get started, so uh, <laughs> let's open the dang book. See that? Ain't it pretty? Has me in it. <laughs> now let's turn the darn page, so uh, hold on a minute. Let me move out of the way. Let's see here. Uh, Sheriff. Sheriff Woody, that's me. Faced. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, Sheriff Woody, that's me. Faced the infamous outlaw bank robber. Black. Bart played as Mr. Potato Head. Reach for the scar, you rascal, Sheriff Woody said. That was me. Okay. Uh, little Andy Davis aimed his two toys at each other. He, as always, Sh Sheriff Woody, that's me, uh, won the fight. Andy knocked over Mr. Potato Head and said, Sorry, outlaw, Sheriff Woody, that's me. Was too fast for you, you lose. All of his toys, Andy loved. Sheriff Woody, that's me. Is Sheriff Woody, that is me, the best. So let's keep going. Yes. Hold on a minute. Um, just then, Andy heard his mother calling him. It is time for my birthday party, he asked. Andy r ran out of his room. When Andy was gone, the, all his toys could walk and talk. Andy's birthday, Woody said that to himself. That's me. All right. This is terrible. Woody ran to Slinky Dog. That is me. Slink. He said quietly. I've got bad news. Bad news? Slinky said, shouted. Shh! Woody whispered. That's me. Uh, just get everyone together for a meeting. Weird. What, Woody, that's me, uh, led the toys to a meeting. We'll all be moving to Andy's new house soon, so everybody must find a moving buddy, Woody told them. That is me. The toys no nodded. They already know about the move. When Woody added quietly, Andy's birthday party is b moved to today. The toys panicked. The guests are already arriving, squealed Ham, the piggy bank. The other toys ran to the window. They saw Andy's friends carrying gifts. The toys were afraid. What if Andy got new toys? Would he throw his old ones away? Don't worry, no one will be thrown away, Woody reassured them. That is me. Huh. Oh, hilarious. Oh, dang it. Come on, come on. Uh, but, but Woody, that's me, sent a group of toy soldiers to watch the to party anyway and repeat by and report by walkie talkie luckily most of the toys were gifts most of the gifts were toys and clothes and games that's weird or uh, i meant to say all that stuff andy opened his last present the soldiers gasped it was an amazing toy but the walkie talkie stopped working before the soldiers could report or lie there the report 
sorry. Uh, later, Andy put his new toy on the bed. After he, he left, Woody and the other toys approached the stranger. Suddenly, the new toy jumped up. My name is Buzz Lightyear, and I come to your planet in peace. <laughs> That's weird. Uh, my ship had crash landed here by mistake. Rex the dinosaur got really excited. Are you really here from outer space? <laughs> no, he's not. He's from Al's toy barn. Woody sighed. That is me. Of course not. He's a toy like us. Sorry, I did that. Uh, excuse me, but I think the word you're searching for is Space Ranger, Buzz told him. I'm captain of the space fleet. And as soon as I fix my spaceship, I'll go back home. <laughs> no, he's not. I have a special I have special wings. I can fly, Buzz told him. No, you can't, Woody said. That's me. Can, Buzz said. Can't, snapped Woody. Buzz replied. Yes, I can, and I can prove it. Buzz leaped off the bed. To infinity and beyond, he cried. <laughs> That's weird. Aw, oh, look at that. <clears throat> Don't I look mad? <laughs> I'm hilarious. But Buzz landed on a rubber ball, bounced onto a toy race car tra track, slid down, slid up, and went flying through the air. He landed right in front of Woody. That is me. Can, Buzz said smugly. That wasn't flying. That was falling with style, Woody scoffed. That is me. But the other toys thought Buzz was great. Arrgh! That's making me weird. <sighs> Suddenly, the toys heard shouting. It was Sid. <gasps> the, the boy next door. Sid liked to blow up his toys. That. And that's. Just what he was doing now. The toys were glad they lived with Andy. <sighs> uh, look at me. I'm mad. Uh, Andy loved his toys. Especially his new one. He began playing with Buzz all the time. Woody became jealous. Ooh. One night, uh, Andy was going to Pizza Planet for dinner. You can only bring one toy, his mother told him. Woody wanted Andy to bring him, not Buzz. So, uh, he tried to make Buzz fall behind a dresser. Woody aimed behind Andy's dresser. Woody aimed at RC, a radio control car, at Buzz. Zoom! Buzz jumped out of the way just in time. <laughs> Cute face. The car hit a globe instead of Buzz. Instead, but the globe hit a lamp, knocked Buzz out of the window. Uh, the other toys rushed over to see what had happened. They looked at RC. Aw. The little car said, rawr, rawr. The toys were surprised and angry. They looked at Woody. That's me. Uh... You used our C card to knock Buzz out of the window, Mr. Potato Head accused. No, no, cried Woody cried. I didn't mean to. The other toys didn't believe him. Woody didn't know what to say. All the other toys were angry with him. Bo Peep felt sad. She couldn't believe Woody would do such a terrible thing. Oh, sad. There we go. Uh, just then, Andy had 
come into the room looking for Buzz. But since Andy couldn't find his new toy, he looked he took Woody into the car instead. Buzz was in the bushes nearby and saw uh, the car leaving. He quickly grabbed down to the car's bumper. Ha! Perfect. Uh, let's see. Uh, Andy's mother stopped for fuel. When Andy and his mother got out of the car, Buzz climbed in. Woody said, I didn't mean to push you out of the window, honest. Buzz didn't believe Woody. The two toys began to fight. They rolled out of the open door, car door. The car drove out of the wind, off without them. Luckily, Woody noticed a van from Pizza Planet. Oh, <laughs> he he and Buzz jumped aboard. <sighs> That's weird. Uh, the van brought the two toys to Pizza Planet. Uh, the toys wanted to follow Andy's family inside, but the door was guarded by robots. How are we going to get inside? Wait a minute. How are we going to get past the guards? Wondered Woody. Uh, uh, Woody hid inside a Big cup. Buzz hid inside a burger box. <laughs> Funny. Uh, let's see what else. They sneaked past the robot guards. Once they were inside, Woody spotted Andy. Yep. But Buzz spotted a rocket ship. Now I can go home, he said. The, he climbed in the rocket. The rocket was really a machine full of prizes. The prizes were little green alien toys. I come in peace, told the, he, Buzz told the aliens. Woody knew he had to rescue Buzz, so he climbed into the rocket too. <gasps> Nuts. Suddenly, a huge metal claw appeared. The claw grabbed Buzz and lifted him up. Someone won wanted a prize from the rocket machine. It was Sid. S Woody tried to save Buzz. Instead, Woody picked up got picked up too. Sid laughed a nasty laugh. Now he had two two new toys to destroy. Oh no. Sid took the two toys back home to his gloomy room. After he left, Woody and Buzz looked around. They saw something moving. Buzz gasped. What are those strange th creatures? Uh, Woody heard... W w wait a minute. Woody had never seen anything so horrible... Sid had ripped apart his toys and put them back together in weird ways. The mutant toys moved closer and closer. Woody and Buzz, the two... Closer to Woody and Buzz, the two toys ran. Ah! Oh. <sighs> Buzz and... Woody and Buzz ran to do two different rooms. Then something even scarier happened to Buzz. He saw a TV commercial for a Buzz Lightyear toy. Buzz said to himself, That can't be right. I'm the real Buzz Lightyear. How can there be another one on TV? What if Woody was right? What if I am just a toy? Aw. Buzz had to prove he, he was a real space hero. So he jumped off the top of the stairs. Buzz spread his wings and crash. Oof. He hit the ground so hard that his arm broke off. Aww. Ugh. Excuse me. Um, Sid's sister found Buzz and brought him to her 
Doll's tea party. Uh, finally, Woody was able to sneak in her, to her room. Hurry, let's get out of here, Woody said. Buzz replied sadly. Why bother? I'm just a silly, stupid little toy. It doesn't matter who plays with me. As they went back to Sid's room to try to escape, Woody tried to convince Buzz that being Andy's toy was, was as important as being a space ranger. Suddenly, the mutant toys surrounded Buzz. To Woody's surprise, they fixed Buzz's broken arm. <sighs> Let's see, uh... Just then, Sid turned up. He taped a rocket to Buzz. He was going to blow him up the next morning. Oh, no. Eek. Uh, that face. Uh, let's see here. Um, uh, what he had to save Buzz, but he couldn't. Do it alone, he bravely approached Sid's mutant toys. They were friendly, and they agreed to help. The next morning, the mutant toys followed Woody to Sid's backyard. Reach for the sky, Woody shouted. Ugh, at Sid. Ugh, Sid turned around. He looked at Woody in shock. How could a toy talk by itself? Ugh. Let's see that. Ugh. We toys don't like being blown up. We toys don't like being smashed or ripped apart, Woody told Sid. Uh, the toys gasped. Uh, he saw dozens of toys heading straight for him. Dang it. Uh, Woody said, you'd better take good care of your toys. Because if you don't, we'll find out, Sid. So play nice. The nasty boy uh, screamed and ran to his room. He would never blow up a toy again. Woody and the other toys cheered. Aww. Suddenly, Woody saw a moving van. Saw the moving van in front of Andy's house. He and Buzz had to get out, get on it. They raced out of the yard with Sid's vicious dog chasing them. Buzz rescued Woody from the dog, but he was left behind as the moving van pulled away. Woody had to help his friend. Aww. Inside the van, Woody opened the box with the toys and got RC and then he pushed RC down the van's ramp. The other toys didn't understand. They thought Woody was trying to get rid of RC too, so they pushed him off the van. Uh, the van sped away. Buzz and Woody ho ho hoped hopped on uh, hopped on the speeding car they raced to the van and almost made it unfortunately rc car's batteries died woody cried oh no now we'll never catch up to the van catch up with the van <sighs> silly me ah. <sighs> creepy face um uh, but the but then he got another idea. Woody let the rocket that was taped to Buzz whoosh. Now, as RC sped up the van's ramp, Buzz spread his wings and and he and Woody were flying. <laughs> Woody and Buzz flew right into the car. Andy was very happy. He had thought Woody and Buzz were lost. They but they were right there in the car, and he hugged his toys. Buzz realized that Andy loved him. No, now he knew uh, what it meant to be a toy. It was even better than being a space hero. Aw, cute. Mm. 
Woody and Buzz, Woody, Buzz, and all the other toys were happy in Andy's new home. Soon it was Christmas. The toys were nervous. What if Andy got new and better toys? The toy soldiers went to watch his watch Andy and his sister open their gifts. Don't worry, Bo Peep said to Woody. Andy will always love you. She kissed Woody's cheek. Aw. <laughs> Woody and Buzz. Woody told Buzz, We have nothing to worry about. Andy couldn't possibly get anything that's worse than you. The toy soldiers made their report. Andy got a puppy. Uh oh. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, that's the end. See the bedroom right there? It's really cool. Thank you.